Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to make all photos the same length and cup cut. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up CupCut and start creating our project. So let's go and click on new project here. And from here, we want to go to photos and start adding our photos. So let's say we want to add these two photos here. So let's go and click on add. Now, just to give you a few information about CupCut here is whenever you add a photos, by default, they're going to be three seconds long. So maybe 20 photos, 50 photos that you'll be adding into the timeline, it's going to be the same thing as long as it's a photo. So meaning every photo will be three seconds. Now, typically, the best way for us to basically resize or the length or make sure that all the photos here are going to be the same length is by manually editing them so in this case you have your three seconds there you'll be able to change this as you can see it's now 1.3 seconds so in this case if you have around 50 photos it could be time consuming so a great thing that you could utilize here is using the speed up functionality now in this case what you need to do like for example you have your main project and you want to add like multiple photos speeding up well what you could do here is just basically create a new project with just all those photos that you want to use and basically re-add them into your main project and from there you could go ahead and just speed up those uh, photos so in this case let's go ahead and exit this project here let's say let's go ahead and create a new one and in this next project, we want to go ahead and just add all the photos that we want to add. Now in this case, let's just go ahead and start adding our photos here. But once added, we could go ahead and just click on the add button at the bottom right. Now from here, again, all photos is going to be three seconds. And depending on how you selected the photos, they're going to be organized in your timeline in that way or in that manner as well. Now in this case, let's go and click on the export button here, click on save to device. And once it exported, we want to add this to our previous project. Now in this case, click on done at the top right. Go back into our first project here. And from here on our, sec our first project here, we could go ahead and just start the e editing it. So in this case, we want to click a plus button here and we want to add a video that we just recently created and just click on add. And from here, what we need to do, select that clip or the exported video that we just recently made. And we want to utilize this feed functionality here. Now from here, just, just choose the normal here. And let's say we want to speed this up by, let's say, 5 times or 4.8. In this case, just click on the check at the bottom right. And as you can see, when the uh, section gets here, it's going to be a lot faster. And uh, all those clips or the length for those clips are going to be even because we exported them in three seconds. And you just utilize the speed up here to make things a lot faster or a lot slower depending on your style. But yeah, so those are the or the tip that we could give you right now to make the all the all the photos that you have right now as the same length. But that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.